The following program is brought to you by Element 14, the electronics community where you can connect and collaborate with top engineers from around the world. Join now at element14.com slash presents. Hello, I'm Karen, and welcome back to The Learning Circuit. We just learned about ultrasonic distance sensors, which means it's time for a project. So naturally, what do I decide to make? Another robot. I'm using three ultrasonic sensors so that when a person or object is in range, the robot's eyes should look left, center, or right at it. And if the person or object gets close enough, the robot's eyes will shift down but still follow it left, center, or right. The eyes of the robot will be the LED displays of two BBC microbits. The three ultrasonic distance sensors will be placed in a line to make a mouth. And an Arduino Uno will be the brains. Most of the code will be written in Arduino, but the micro bits will have additional code for the eye shapes and movement. Let's take a look at make code and see what that code looks like. I started by creating the eye shapes I wanted, looking straight and left across to right, and then two options of each of those shifted down for close. To control the micro bits, I need four pins, left, right, center, and close. I'm using the three touch input pins 0, 1, and 2 for left, center, and right. And pin 5, which controls button A, I'll use as the close pin. To access all the pins, I'm using these edge connector breakout boards. The micro bit slides in, and pins can be connected by either plugging jumpers into headers or soldering directly to these holes that connect to each pin. In make code, a conditional statement checks if each pin is high or low. If high, the eyes will look in that direction. There are eye shapes for center, right center, left center, right, and left. And if the close pin is high, those images all shift down. Here it appears that they shift up because the micro bits will be placed upside down. The rest of my code is in Arduino. Now, I'm still not great at coding Arduino, so I enlisted the help of my awesome friend, Jeff. I sent him my code and he, well, changed it a bunch, but made it way better. Thanks, man. Now, I understand most of it. Let's take a look. Here I define all the terms and set distance values. I name the Arduino pins I'm using. Four pins to send data to the micro bits for left, center, right, and close up. The trigger pins of all the sensors are tied to one Arduino pin, and three pins to receive the echo data. The robot has six states, five for whichever combination of sensors is currently detecting an object, left, left center, center, right center, and right, and idle. And last are some numbers I'll generate, like the distances detected by each sensor. In void setup, the Arduino pins are set as inputs or outputs. To get distance measurements, a signal is sent to the trigger pin of the sensor. The sensor then emits an ultrasonic sound, which reflects off any objects in range, deflecting it back to the sensor. The sensor records how long it took for the signal to travel to the object and back, and that information can be read through the echo pin. In check depth, the sensor's trigger pin emits the signal, then uses the signal data received through the sensor's echo pin to do the math to determine the distance of the object. And to make the reading smoother, it will average three readings at a time. Then the code runs that sequence for the three sensors, left, middle, and right, checking the data at each echo pin, and prints the information to the serial monitor. Is depth and range checks the minimum and maximum distances, making sure that the reading is greater than the minimum distance and less than the maximum distance. The left, middle, and right distance readings are then each checked for those values. The results determine which way the robot will look. Left, left center, center, right center, or right. Here it also accounts for edge cases. Next, the robots are told what to do once the robot knows which way to look. Here, all the Arduino pins that go to the micro bits are set low. Then depending on which direction the robot needs to look, the pin or pins are set high. Each condition also checks each distance reading to see if it meets the close minimum. And if it does, a high signal is also sent to the close pins of the micro bits. 
Last, in the main program loop, the depths of all three sensors get checked. The I state is determined and then printed to the serial monitor. This also saves that state and compares it to any new I states registered. That's all the code. Time to solder and wire it up. Here you can see my wiring diagram. Since both eyes should show the same image, the pins of the microbits can be soldered together. Each microbit has four signal pins, but the pairs are each going to only four pins on the Arduino. For the sensors, the trigger pins are all tied together to a single Arduino pin, but each echo pin connects to its own pin on the Arduino. Then power is run from the Arduino, with 3.3 volts to the microbits and 5 volts to the sensors, and all connected to ground. The microbit edge connectors, the sensors, and the Arduino all have header pins. Rather than using jumper wires, I wanted more secure connections. The connections for each component are soldered to another header that can be plugged on to make the final connections. But since there are often multiple connections that need to go to a single Arduino pin, I'm soldering the other end of all those wires to a small perf board to easily group together the connections. Pretty much everything but the echo pins has more than one connection. Since the microbits need to be placed so close to the face of the robot, I'm using right angle headers on the edge connector board and soldering the wires to female headers that can be plugged in from the top. The sensor wires will each get a four pin female header. And for the Arduino, I'm using three six pin male headers. Only four pins will be soldered on each, but I wanted to have a couple extra for physical stability. If you want to take a closer look at my wiring diagram, you can find it in the video description on the Element 14 community page for this video. Well, time to button it up and see how it works. I used a wood box from the craft store and laser cut a robot face to mount on top of it. Foam is used to help hold the sensors in place and tilt the left and right sensors out to lessen the area of overlap with the middle sensor. Twisting together the wires for each header helps keep everything nice and tidy. The Arduino and perf board live inside the box as well as a 5 volt power bank that plugs into the USB port of the Arduino and powers the whole circuit. I had to make sure that the hole that I cut into the top of the box was big enough for the headers with wires attached to fit through. Let's turn it on and see how it works. Well, the eyes didn't turn out exactly as responsive as I had planned, but I kind of really like how it turned out to be just kind of skittish and glance at you from time to time if you're off to the side. It's cute. Again, I want to thank my friend Jeff, who was a huge help in writing and debugging the Arduino code for this project. I likely would have gone mad without his help. Now, the code is still a bit buggy, and I'm sure it can be smoothed out. If you'd like to give it a try, I'll make sure that both the microbit and Arduino code are posted along with this video on the Element 14 community. You can find that by going to element14.com forward slash the learning circuit. And if you come up with something, I'll try it out on my robot and post an update. Until then, happy learning. Mm -hmm.